Are your kids struggling with rounding decimals? Let's handle that right now. If the last digit is less than five, you're gonna round it down, but it's more than five, then you round up. Okay, so how do you do it? Well, you have to tell me what you wanna round to. So if I wanna round this to the nearest whole number, that's a number like this, with no decimal point. So what you do is you find the type of number you wanna round to, and then just peek at the next one. This is a three, so this tells me I'm going to round down. So all we do to round to the nearest whole number is say 516. And that's it. What if I want to round this to the nearest tenth? Okay, so then I cover everything up beyond the tenths, and then I peek at what's next to the tenths, and it's a two. Okay, so the two is less than five, so I'm gonna round down. So to round this number to the nearest tenths, it's actually 516.3. Okay, let's try a few examples so you get really good at this. Let's round to the nearest tenth. 45.9364. Okay, so you're gonna take your hand and cover up everything to the right of the tenth. So it's 45.9. The question is, does that stay 0.9 or does that bump up? And we look here and it's a three. So that tells us it stays as a 45.9. So rounding to the nearest tenth, okay. So you first find out where is the tenth, it's right there. You look next door, if this is a five or higher, then this bumps up, but since it's not, it stays where it is. And then this part always gets removed. Okay, let's try another one. How about 365.126? Okay, so first we gotta find the tenth, which is here. And then we look one to the right, we look next door and we see this number is not five or above. So this stays as 365.1. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about learning decimals the easy way, I'm actually giving an entire class on it for free. Just click on the link in the description or in the comments to register or simply go to getmath.net slash decimals. Okay, let's continue. So let's round to the nearest hundredth. So the first thing we do is find the hundredths place, and on the top number, it's here, it's the six. Then we look one step to the right, we see a five here. This is five and above, so that means this goes up to a seven. We still get rid of the five. We're just peeking to see whether this should stay a six or be bumped up to a seven. So this becomes 109.37. Okay, let's look at this one. This is the tenths, and this is the hundredths. So we're gonna peek here. I see this is a nine. That tells me that since it's above five or above, that this is gonna bump up as well. So that's gonna bump up to a four. My answer is 2.44. Let's try a few more. Round the top one to the nearest tenth. So I'm gonna find that here. And we peek next door, that's a seven. So that tells me that this is gonna get bumped up to a five. This still goes away. So this becomes 1063.5. I want to uh, round this one to the nearest thousandths. So tenth, hundredth, thousandths. Okay, but there's nothing here. So this just stays 23.694. This one, let's round this one to the nearest hundredth. This is the hundredths place, and there's a one. So that tells me this stays as a four, and we get rid of the rest. So it's 3.14. Let's do the nearest thousandths again, okay? So I have tens, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, okay. So this is the one I wanna look at. Is this gonna be a two or a three? So you look here, that's five and above. This goes up to a three. So this becomes 0 0.143. 45.997, I wanna round that to the nearest tenth. Okay, the tenth is here. This is a nine, clearly above five. So this is gonna round up, but when I round up, what's above a nine? This actually will become a zero, and then you have to bump this one up as well, so that would become a six. So this one, rounded to the nearest tenth, is 46.0, okay? And the same for something like this, $299.99. Let's round that up to the nearest whole number. Whole number is right there. 
So we peak here and we see that's five and above. So this is gonna round up and the whole thing's gonna round up, right? Cause that's a zero and then that's a zero and then this has to round up. So this rounds up to the nearest whole number as 300. Let's try a couple more just so you're comfortable. If I have 103 and 19, and I also have 257 and 257, okay. Let's round this top one up to the nearest tenth. So here's your tenth. We see this is higher than five. <laughs> and so this is gonna round up to a two. Okay, we still get rid of that. This becomes 103.2. Two, rounded to the nearest tenth. Let's round this one to the nearest tenth. Here's the tenth. We peek next door and we see, oh, you know what? There's a five there. That tells us it's five and above. So we still get rid of the rest, but this bumps up to a three. So this is 257.3. Now, if your kids have been frustrated with decimals and you'd like your child to learn the easy way, I want to invite you on a free class on decimals that I'm giving. To register at no charge, simply click below in the description or the comments, or simply go to getmath.net slash decimals.